with more Grim Fandango. So let's see what we got here. Um, real quick, I'm going to lower some of this volume a little bit. There we go. All right. So we're back in it, doing what we do best, figuring out how to get past certain puzzles. Um, for those of you wondering why I'm not looking at the camera, there we go. Uh, starting a timer because for myself to certain time limited episodes. All right, so. We have to get pigeon eggs, but every time we approach the pigeons, they kind of freak out. So, let's, let's look at our inventory and see what we can do to... It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Domino's mouthpiece. We have bread. Pigeons like bread. Fire extinguisher. Balloon. Cards. Scythe. It's gotta be something with bread. Let's try it. I get crumbs all over. I get crumbs all over. I get crumbs all over. There we go. Now these birds will flock over to you. Watch it! Get him off me! Hmm. Does that mean I just need more bread? Maybe... Let me try one more thing. Maybe if I put the bread... Can I put a balloon in at the bottom or something? It's not on fire. The bread of the dead. Okay, so I can put it in there, but it just doesn't let me get past the pigeons. There's that giant. What's that thing back there? So confusing. What? <laughs> okay, I just ended up back here. That's fine. Um, let's go get more bread. I have to get the pigeon eggs. I need to distract them somehow. I just take a little more bread to honor. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. Let's just take enough bread where we can make some mistakes if we need to. I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. We just have four loaves of bread just everywhere. All right, so the pigeons are up there. Let's see if our friends Calavera here. have any suggestion of... Have you thought about using messages tied to balloons? I can get you plenty of balloons. Pigeons, Manuel. Bring me their eggs. Pues, okay. Viva la revolución! Why won't you help me out? I need your teeth, remember? Hey. Wait. Okay. Leaving. It won't no. budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. Alright, so... Let's 
go back up to the pigeons. to eat out of clean dishes that aren't nailed to the roof. Nailed to the roof? Shoot! I'm warning you, you little roof chickens. Show some respect. It's a squeaky little kitty. Ah. Maybe that will scare them. Eventually. Ah, there you go. Alright, so now we put the bread in. Then they come over, and then when they peck the bread... Because I tried to place the other balloon, and it wasn't working, so maybe it had to be the cat balloon, because it's... I thought I had to take like all the eggs. Okay, so we got the eggs. So I'm moving on to the next thing. Uh. <laughs> it's always weird when they, they they let you like descend faster, but they don't let you ascend faster. Like you climb the rope the same time every way, but when you climb down it, it, it it's quicker. Agent Calavera and two guests. I don't know why he only wants two. He's, he's pretty confident that he's gonna get a male and a female. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry. But freedom has its price. Sure, but what do you want to do now? Look, you got the eggs you wanted. Now can I go? Sorry, but your teeth. The revolution depends on your teeth. Viva la revolución! Okay, so what do I do now? Why won't you help me out? I need your teeth, teeth remember? remember? 
This computer is shut off. This computer is shut off. It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. What do you want me to do? Look, you got the eggs you want. Sorry, but your teeth. Viva la revolución! Oh, wait. Wait, 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 this. Yeah, well, now I know what Domino tastes like. There's eight, what, a tooth got lodged in there now? I'm not sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? What's that? Domino's mouthpiece. Think you can get a dental impression off of it? No. The plastic's so hard, he didn't leave a mark. So I need to soften the plastic. How do I do that? <coughs> Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Hey, can I get into the carnival yet? No. Alright. So it's too hard and we need to soften it. Uh, to... I'm not going in there. They still think I'm locked up. Hopefully. <laughs> but how long is it taking them to just figure something out? Um, didn't Domino... Domino had something in his office. Let's go check. I think he had, like, water or something. Maybe he... I don't know, maybe he can heat... There's a way to heat the water and put the plastic in and soften the plastic or something. Alright. Keep going. In Domino's office. I guess he just drinks the water. I'm gonna try to guess his password. And it's not Mr. D either. No use for it. Strolling through the halls now. I'm on the lamb. Nothing in Dom's office seems to be useful. Just an endless bottle of whatever that is. Uh, okay. So much for Dommy. Okay. Let's leave his office. Too hard to make a dental impression. They still need my teeth. Is there anything left on the roof? Eh, probably not. Let's just... Let's go to the garage. We haven't been back in there. Maybe there's a tool or something. Or some kind of chemical. Um... Garage... See, there's anything in the room that are locked in. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Well. Good for dents, great for dentures. Oh, and then now I can take a bite. Ooh. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and then quite a chalky aftertaste, too. I guess when you're dead, you don't have to worry about 
side effects of chemicals. But all right, so we're on our way. We're gonna return the dental impression back to our agents, and we'll pick up that in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Grim Fandango.